Hello, people of God. This is Prophet Sisters Deja Blue. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you guys just joined us for the first time, welcome. This is a channel of peace, love, healing, growth, prosperity, and you guys are more than welcome to be here. Glory to God. People of God, I have a beautiful prophetic word for you guys for the month of September. Today is Powerhouse Wednesday. The message is going to be out of the book of John, the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. The hour was about noon, angel number 12, God's plan. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, give me a drink. His disciples had gone off to town to buy provision. The Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew. How can you ask me, a Samaritan, a woman for a drink? Recall that the Jews have nothing to do with the Samaritans. Jesus replied, if only you recognize God's gift, glory to God, and who it is that is asking you for a drink, you would have asked him instead, and he would have given you living water. Glory to God. People of God, the Lord says, be careful who you talk to. Someone important is coming into your life. Someone important has come into your life. Some of you have entertained angels without even knowing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People of God. The woman continued, sir, she challenged him. You do not have a bucket and this well is deep. Where do you expect to get flowing water? Surely you do not pretend to be greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it with his sons, his flocks. Jesus replied, everyone who drink this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks the water that I give will never be thirsty. No, the water I give shall become a fountain within him, leaping up to provide eternal life. Glory to God. <laughs> people of God, if people are still denying Christ, if people are still saying that Jesus don't exist and that this is fake and this and that, people of God, the Lord says, my sheep hears my voice and they follow. People of God, you could bring the horse to the water or the donkey to the water but we can't force them to drink it is our job to to deliver the message it is the holy spirit's job to do the rest people of god hallelujah and um the woman said to him give me this water sir so that I shall not grow thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. Glory to God. He said to her, go, call your husbands, then come back here. I have no husbands, she replied. You are right in saying you have no husband, Jesus exclaimed. The fact is you have had five and the man that you're living with now is not your husband. What you have said is true. <laughs> Glory to God. How many of us can relate to that? Sir, answered the woman, I can see you are a prophet. Our ancestors worship on this mountain, but you people claim that Jerusalem is the place where men out to worship God. Then Jesus told her, believe me, woman, an hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand while we understand what we worship. After all, salvation is from the Jews, yet an hour is coming and it is already here. Glory to God. It is already here when authentic worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Indeed, it is such worshipers the Father seek. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Glory to God. The woman said to him, I know there is a Messiah coming, 
This terms mean anointed. When he comes, he will tell us everything. And Jesus replied, I who speak to you am he. Glory to God. People of God, the Messiah is already here. Jesus. The Messiah who you are looking for, who you are waiting for, is already here. Glory to God. People of God, I pray that this blesses you. And until next time, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.